On to matters education now, where the Education Cabinet Secretary, Professor George Magoha, has urged his predecessor to ensure their fears of learners are addressed smoothly as he prepares to leave the office after serving since March 2019. Professor Magoha, who spoke on Friday morning after commissioning new CBC classrooms in Nairobi, further warned head teachers against sending learners home for school fees. Education Cabinet Secretary Professor George Maguha was at Committee Secondary School, Honorable John Jeroge Secondary, and Our Lady of Fatma to commission CBC classrooms. Here, the Education Cabinet Secretary took the opportunity to send a strong warning to school heads planning to send learners home for school fees. If you want to help children out of your goodwill, don't send children to go and collect money that is not there. So I'm instructing that principle through this public uh, me, uh, medium that I would want a report to confirm that all children in that Matiku Secondary School in, in Makweni have resumed uh, class and very stern action will be taken against him or her because this nonsense has actually to stop. If you want to make extra money, don't make it from our children right now. Professor Maguha urged parents to assist grade 6 learners who are yet to join junior secondary schools in the selection of their preferred schools through the public portal. We cannot say that uh, junior high school will, will only be in, in day schools, but the majority of them will be in day schools, the great majority of them. We cannot, uh, you have seen, we have built classrooms in boarding schools. Those classrooms are not there for decoration. They will be occupied. Why don't you believe in the ability of Kenyans uh, to do what is right? He further urged teachers to step up their efforts of implementing the CBC and help the government in achieving the reformation of the education system. The Education CS said six counties have so far met the target of construction of the CBC classrooms. Frederick Mwoki for Lunchtime News.